When you run a chi-square test in SPSS, you get several tables of output. The first table can be ignored, and for now we'll skip over the second as well, and look at the chi-square test table. If you have a very small sample and expected frequencies below 5, it's recommended that you interpret and report the likelihood ratio. Here we have 154 cases and no cells with expected frequencies below 5, and thus the Pearson chi-square test can be interpreted and reported. The Pearson chi-square statistic is statistically significant at the conventional alpha level of 0.05. This tells us that the two variables are related. However, it does not tell us how they are related or how strongly they are related. Looking at strength first, phi is an appropriate measure of effect size for a 2x2 two two design like ours. It is interpreted as a correlation coefficient with a lower limit of 0 and an upper limit of 1. By convention, a phi coefficient of 0.476 would be described as large or strong. In other words, there's a strong relationship between phone use behaviour and age. Next, we need to examine the nature of that relationship. This can be done by looking at the cross-tabulation table. Looking at the total sample, there were 46 adults and 108 teenagers observed using their phones. In other words, 29.9% of the sample were adults and the remaining 70.1% were teenagers. Of the total sample, 65 or 42.2% were observed talking and the rest were observed texting. Now we can look at the proportions of talkers versus texters in each age group. Looking at the adults first, we can see that over three quarters of them were observed talking. This pattern is almost reversed amongst the teenagers where only one quarter of them were observed talking. At this point, and particularly in larger designs, it can be useful to look at the standardised residuals. They reflect the standardised differences between our observed cell frequencies and the cell frequencies we would expect if age and behaviour were truly unrelated. Because they're z-scores, any standardised residual over plus or minus 1.96 is statistically significant at an alpha level of 0.05. For example, this standardised residual of 3.8 tells us that there were significantly more adults talking than would be expected if age and phone use behaviour were unrelated. Similarly, the standard residual of 2.1 tells us that there were significantly more teenagers texting than would be expected if the two variables were unrelated. Finally, the means plot confirms and helps to visualise what we already know. Age and phone use behaviour are related. Adults were more likely to talk. Teenagers were more likely to text. And the results could be reported like this.